So there I was, just minding my own business, building up my mountain, when I heard a familiar sound. Okay, that's... Um, <laughs> that, that's animal abuse. Uh, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna go back to work. Hello everyone, I'm BGCN and welcome to my channel. So today's episode is going to be a little bit grindy almost, a lot of building to do in this one. Um, I have been working on detailing the mountainside, the peak up here, and this takes an incredibly long time, like you won't believe. So um, I've been working on the slope and I decided to add this little water feature down here. Uh, just to add a little pop of color because it's very green and very gray and uh, i thought i could add all of my fish that i caught i think it's three episodes ago um or two episodes ago and uh, i've renamed them according to what type of fish they are so that they won't despawn hopefully and hopefully they survive in here this is the trigger fish Okay, that, uh, that may be a problem. Please don't jump out of the water. And another one. Oh, jeez. Oh, and he's on the gravel. Okay, I'm going to have to do something about this so they don't die because I only have the four. Uh, okay, so um, <laughs> I, I tried to fix it. Uh, they are all still here. And you can see that I added this little wall bit. Um, on the left and so far they haven't jumped out of it so I, I think it's working. I've tried to light up everything as well and like place carpets or slabs or stairs or things and um, there's a hole that I still need to patch with the tree so <laughs> I'm not done yet a whole lot of detailing work left to do. Right and you can see that I have brought the dirt down a little bit uh, down the mountainside. I have added gravel and um, cobblestone patches you can't really see the detail at this distance um, but most of it is spawn proof with either carpet or slabs or stairs and then on this side is where I want to focus today it's the last bit that I really have to do at the peak of the mountain so this is where the barracks are going to go we have a building on the left side and then there are two on that side and the training grounds in the middle um, the problem as with everything else is the limited space so there should be enough housing for about 2,000 guardians. Um, obviously that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to make these buildings as big as I can. Um, and, and yeah, that'll just have to do. So on this side, I ha also have a bit of a problem because the building goes right up here and the path is already being encroached on by this mountainside. Um, but that's the only spot where I couldn't adjust the building. I'm using the same uh, build palette as I used for the attendance apartments on the other side of the mountain. So I have the plan already so this, this, this shouldn't go too badly and it shouldn't take too long. Alright guys, the three buildings are now done, basically. I still have to do the interiors, but I will focus on that in a minute. I just want to finish the training grounds first. And uh, there's not a lot of space to work with, so I'm gonna have to see what I can do to fit everything in here. I'm starting with the retaining wall because as much as I want this um, garden to flow naturally down, there isn't enough space to do that. And right at the bottom, we will add some pots all. Um, just to emulate some dead leaves that fall from above and accumulate here. Of course we add rooted dirt for some variation and coarse dirt as well for the texture. Right up here I think I'm gonna push this garden back just a little bit, just um, maybe two or three blocks and we will raise this I think another two layers and some regular dirt as well. Okay guys, um, this is the basis. I, I'm, there's a lot to do still, so <laughs> let's pop into another time lapse. I have some bad news guys. See, um, <laughs> one of my fish died. He, he popped out of the little waterfall thingy that I made and I 
didn't have a bucket on me and this was the blue tank so one of my favorites i think i'm gonna just leave him up here for now until i can make a proper room for the deceased right guys the training grounds and the interiors are done um it's time now to build the dirt track all the way there so that i can move the last two villagers into their homes and we are done we are here the dirt track is in and uh, everything else is safe they won't be able to leave this little house um i did put berry bushes underneath the front door carpet okay guys um i hope you are ready because you are finally leaving this little dingy hole of yours and i have learned my lesson from moving the rest of these guys so um i shouldn't make any more mistakes one of them is you need to destroy their um workstations so that they um attach to them again when you move them you can get in there and you can get in this one okay well that was easy now i break your beds so that you will attach to the new ones let's go and there's your workstation i'll take this and i'll see you later and here we go last guy Hmm, there's your workstation and yay, green sparkles. Okay, cool. Hmm, uh, okay, don't walk in front of this, please. Dude, there we go. And no sparkles. I hope he attached while I was away. Anyways, I'm going to go and clean up the dirt track because that's the last time I'll ever have to use it. Hopefully. If I see this, there is a pair of eyes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a Minecraft face if I ever saw one. Look at that, there's, there's some eyes and a mouth. But that's a little creepy, um, not gonna lie. Okay, so the fish, the three surviving fish are still here. Um, I did add some slabs on this side because that's where the other one died and it seems that they are not able to jump on top of those so hopefully they survive right guys so it's time for a little tour i uh, i detailed the mountain side i finished the detailing on this side and uh, around all three of the guardians barracks i extended the retaining wall just a little bit um so we have this back alley area most of this is half slabs to stop the spawns but i did add some lighting or hidden lighting over here and on this side um all of this is also bottom slabs and the training grounds are finished now i think i'm i'm done with the detailing there was this one spot of um zero lighting so i added the hidden torch just there we have a few rocks um, on the ground and we have the archery side over here i also added the vines and the leaves as kind of an overgrown bushy area around the retaining wall and over here we have uh, like a blacksmithing area i had a campfire under there for the smoke just for like the metal work on this side if we go around we have the last barracks um and i think this one is actually my favorite just because of this carpet <laughs> i don't know it was just very random but i really like it and four beds above all right so the whole reason i wanted to move all of the villagers out of my mountain base was so that i could utilize the space a little better um so i have been digging out i did start over here this is just a very small part of the digging that i'm gonna have to do um I also want to work on like the detailing of my mine on this side um, because it's very ugly and I think I'm going to move a few things around up here as well just because this looks ugly as well um, so first I need to fix up this little pickaxe of mine um, so I'm not going to go to the end for this it's not a lot of durability that needs fixing luckily I do have Roy over here uh, to help me out so I'm gonna start fixing everything up and i'll see you guys in a second 
All right, so for those of you with a keen eye, you will notice that I am making a tree farm and no, this is not automatic, it is manual. I don't like TNT because I don't like loud noises. Um, so I, I wanted to move this inside the mountain so that I could chop um, without having to stop for day night cycles. And the tallest the tree can get in Minecraft, as far as I know, is 32 blocks. So I made this 35 deep i think if i'm if i remember correctly um and it did go into the mine shaft so i added glass on that side up here um i just added a few holes so that i can go inside very very easily and on this side we have the waterways that bring everything that drops into the water down below all the way up here with bubble elevators all of the detailing or fixing upping things is uh, finished so i'll show you guys around over here i widened this little space into the alley room just so make it a little bit easier for myself to grab one and a rush out i did move the map to this side and make it a little bit smaller just because it was a bit ugly uh, and put a frame around it we are right over there and everything that was there i moved to this side so the parrots are up there and then i have my little death diary over here I don't think I showed you guys this before. Um, so I document all of my deaths and scores. Oh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> I forgot this thing has um, redstone power. So it's moving the door. <laughs> okay, that's weird. This is like a little jukebox thingy that I made just so that I can listen to my music. I had to reorganize the food storage kitchen area thingy as well because it was in the way of this arch which I did broaden uh, just to make it look a little bit better and here we have the tree farm. On the right here I did add a box of all of the saplings that I have just to make it easier on myself when I come and chop wood that I don't have to go back to the storage room to get it. Uh, I also put um, bone meal in there as well. So we have three different areas. All of the waterways lead to the left um, to like take everything, the wood and the saplings and whatever else falls in the water and bring it all the way up here and deposit it in this box. And that way I don't lose anything. Uh, and also I can use it as an exit because it is too tall. Around this way we have the entrance into the mines which I detail just a little bit better and try to make it look nicer all of my rails and tra train track things are in here so let's go on a ride uh, you can see that the tree farm encroached into this area so i had to put glass it just so i could see what's going on um and yeah this goes all the way to deep slate it's the very first mine i dug the moment i got into this mountain and it takes us all the way down here as the first stop um right into the spawner areas um, and then it goes all the way down I haven't fixed this area up it looks ugly I'll get to that in a moment um, yeah so we have this hallway that takes us into the spawner room which I haven't really detailed yet it's a whole different um, project so all of these bricks and stuff I need to make look a little bit better all right so I'm gonna pop down here and test out my new tree farm and as you can see, I added all of these walkways around so I can reach all of the dirt and puzzle and I keep forgetting hyphae um, <laughs> very easily. And yeah, let's, uh, let's get to chopping some trees and see what we get. That's a medium sized. <laughs> it doesn't go all the way, but um, I did add these bubble elevators for two reasons. One of them was to catch all of the saplings and uh, blocks and everything that I drop and bring it all the way up here uh, the other reason was so that if I get a tall tree I can just come up here and drop down from oh it's not very tall that one uh, <laughs> drop down on the top and uh, uh, chop it down from the top because I hate chopping wood from the bottom up because then you have to make a stairway all the way and I, I don't like that so this works a lot easier Now apparently 
the mushrooms also grow on futsal and if you grow it on futsal you don't need to worry about the light level like you would have to do if you grow it on like regular dirt um, so this is great for that as well oh, i love the way these blocks break oh geez oh i fell luckily i have a ladder but that that is a massive mushroom Alright everyone, this is the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, I do have a massive project coming up with the capital building, so I'm going to have to spend a whole lot of time gathering resources like I'm doing now. Yes, the mushroom block is one of them. Um, and it is also the holiday, so I don't know when the next episode is going to come out. Uh, until then, I'll see you when I see you. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!